Hi guys, uh, I hope you're all safe. Uh, so in these days, I've wrote a song for you. I hope you like it. Hi guys, I have an important announcement to make. Oh, Stella, Sarah, oh, you guys are there. That's good. So I was saying that in our company, many things are going to change. Willa, oh, you're online. How are you doing? That's good, that's good. So I was saying, hi guys, I'm starting a new song. It's not ready yet, but I hope you like it. I'm gonna stay at home and home. I'm gonna sing and sing and sing. Stop. This has to stop. Okay, that we are in total lockdown. Okay, that many of us don't have the equipment to do professional videos from home, but we all have to commit a little bit more, people. It's not that hard. And right now, I'm going to give you 10 tips on how to do nice videos from home. So, from today, you have no excuses, okay? Hello, UA peeps, and welcome back for another Upgrade Your Performance video. Today we are going to untangle the mysteries of how to do a homemade video. You might be doing a video conference for work, or a Facebook Live to give a special announcement, or stream a live concert from home, or even teach a live class. It doesn't matter, because the tips that I'm going to give you are valid for all those situations. Boom! Number one, keep the camera at a straight angle. Meaning, if we see your chin more than your forehead, you're doing it wrong. Likewise, if we see your forehead and we don't see your neck, again, that's wrong. It's a video, not a selfie. Keep the camera in front of you and make sure that it doesn't cut your forehead. Unless you're editing a proper video and you want to take it from different angles, don't even consider filming from a weird angle. You're not Hitchcock and nobody wants to see your nostrils. And remember, just because you've seen others do it, it doesn't mean that they are right. Number two, set up some decent lights or film in the daylight. I can't stress enough how terrible it is to see those yellowish videos filmed with the light of one poor solitary ceiling light with heavy curtains at your back. Guys, it feels claustrophobic for those who are watching. And seriously, they don't need to feel any more claustrophobic than what they already do, right? They might watch your videos once, twice, three times if they are your friends. But eventually they are going to give up because those videos filmed in the darkness of your home office are depressing for most people and right now they need the opposite. Open your curtains, choose the brightest room in the house and film in the daytime facing your window. If you don't want to do it for the sake of doing a good video, do it for them. That's what they need and that's what will attract more viewers as well. Number three, wake up. Can we please see that your hair in the videos is different from your bed hair? I'm not saying that you should dress fancy and put false lashes, yet is it that difficult to clean up just a little bit before recording something that goes on the internet? We are not your parents. You can Skype with your family however you are, but please put a bit more commitment when you want to share a video worldwide. Thank you. Number four, look at the camera. It's so funny when I see videos of people that are clearly checking themselves in the screen instead of looking at the little lens on their device. Of all the mistakes, in my opinion, this is the cutest. It reminds me of talking or singing in a microphone for the very first time. You get distracted by your own voice and it's so weird. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Just try to address that little lens and imagine that on the other side of it, there's an entire audience. Number five, your body language should be consistent with what you're saying. An example of an inconsistent body language is this. Hi guys, I want to invite you to my online classes. Do you really want to invite us? Let's see how it can be more consistent. Hi guys, I want to invite you to my online classes. Did you see the difference in the bust and the chin? Another example. Welcome to my online classes. How can we welcome a bit better? 
Welcome to my online classes. Did you see how shoulders and arms changed? Okay, many times our body language is influenced by our culture and our personality. There are cultures that use way more body language than others. Tell me about it, I'm Italian. <laughs> the important thing is that you're not saying something while delivering the opposite message with your body. Maybe rehearse in front of a mirror a couple of times before filming your message. And don't worry, that's a skill that you can improve with a little bit of practice. Let me show you a real example. This is Melody, a fitness instructor, and she is inviting elderly people to join her online training. Despite the fact that her bust is slightly turned, she clearly addresses her viewers with her hand. She keeps her beautiful smile on all the time and her eye contact delivers the same message that she is sending with her words. You have a need and I can give you a solution. Her hair is curated. The background is not too overwhelming and at the end of the video she turns her bust towards the camera as to welcome the participants to her training sessions. Very simple video, yet incredibly effective. Number six, choose your background. On one hand, try not to have a messy background because it looks chaotic and overwhelming for the viewers. On the other hand, try to avoid filming in big, empty, white spaces because it looks like you're filming from a hospital. My suggestion is use a completely white background if you're editing some text and captions over it. Otherwise, try to find a spot in your house that talks a little bit about you. Let me show you the backgrounds that I use. Completely white when I have to add some text. Something that tells a bit about myself when I do a comedy act. A simple background for my Zumba online classes that has some color but is not too overwhelming. Finally, for the online live concert of my jazz duo, we put together bits and pieces from the living room, the dining room and two bedside tables to create a jazzy ambience. Let me show you another example. Here's the video of a fellow Zumba instructor, Galit. How cute is her background? You clearly see that she put a lot of effort and the results are amazing. The scene is bubbly with those strobe lights. It's good for Zumba, but it's not too messy because the other objects are symmetric and talk about her personality without being too loud. Very nice. Number seven, stop checking who's online. Do you remember the announcement video that we saw at the beginning? You're not delivering your message, which is the whole point of a live video. Deliver your message first. And if you want to ask people how they're doing, call them afterwards. <laughs> really? Number eight, keep it short by using a script. Another amateur mistake is doing live videos that are too long because we don't have a clear speech in mind and we just go with the flow of what comes first. Yes, your viewers might have extra time right now, but their attention span is still ridiculously short. So especially for live videos, use a script or a checklist and follow it. Number nine, be aware of the internet connection. Pretend that the whole world is just using their internet connection all the time because they're stuck at home. Oh, wait, that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> We're all victims of an internet connection that comes and goes right now. So I suggest if you're streaming live and you aim for the best resolution possible, don't trust your Wi-Fi and just use your phone's hotspot or an Ethernet cable. Most likely it will be much better. Or you will have to accept the fact that it's probably better to record your video and then publish it. Number 10. Do your research on the best platform for your needs. There are many platforms and many different types of videos that you might want to make. You might opt for a live stream on YouTube for your live concert. You might need a webinar software for your lessons. Try to ask around, 
compare the pros and cons of different tools, and then experiment a little bit. In conclusion, there are many ways to do nice videos. We already saw Melody delivering an announcement and Galit dancing in her Zumba videos. Let me give you another couple of examples. Here we have Alberto, a professional guitarist. Ha! Did you see that? He looked at us for one second and this communicates the message Hi guys, I'd like to share this with you. He didn't say a word, and yet he used just one look to connect with us. Finally, the light is perfect. The background tells us a little bit about him without distracting us. The focus is not on the guitar, nor on the guitarist, but on the synergy between the two. Very effective. Lastly, what if you're a band? Here you see Aura, Samuele and Gigi performing in trio from separate houses. In theory, I would have suggested to the drummer to sit properly in front of his drums, but I know Samuele and his choice reflects his personality. And it's a jazz song anyway, so it can be more casual than a classical trio. Here I love that Aura faces us while the two musicians are turned towards her, giving a nice symmetry, like a sort of triptych. And they didn't stretch the single videos to fit the total size. You see, please don't stretch and squeeze the videos. It's really horrible. I want to thank the performers that you saw in this video. Hermano, in my jazz duo, Melody, Galit, Alberto, Aura, Samuele and Gigi. I will link their websites and socials in the description box below. Let me know in the comments if you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Stay safe. Ciao. If we see your forehead and we don't see your... Ah. Uh, your pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>